The George Gervin Academy Charter School escaping, closing its doors after a successful appeal to the Texas Education Agency, the TEA. And now Superintendent Barbara Hawkins explaining what happened. She tells our Courtney Friedman everything back to normal and the scare had nothing to do with student performance. The 20 year old George Gervin Academy Charter School serves about 1,300 students pre K to 12th grade. McCullough versus Maryland. About 50% of the middle and high school is made up of dropout recovery students. So we have a lot of transfer in students, and a lot of times their records don't come with them. Superintendent Barbara Hawkins says that record mix up is why the Texas Education Agency gave Gervin its third strike in a three strike program. That young people had earned the credits for career and technology, but because the system had not been fully developed to include the historical record, we didn't get credit for it. This made student performance look worse than it was. When Hawkins noticed the mistake, she appealed the TEA ruling and won. Now all three strikes have been erased. The first in 2012 to 2013 was for things like staff to student ratio. The second in 2013 to 2014, Hawkins says ineligible transient students were included in the academic record. This strike was also appealed, but TEA denied it. But that's all gone now, and the school has a clean slate, something Hawkins says the students deserve. We performed and got distinction award for being number one in comparative schools across the state for students making progress. Showing the issue was not academic, but a gap in an evolving state system that's trying to accommodate many types of public schools. Courtney Friedman, KSAT 12 News. After the situation with Gervin and San Antonio Technology Academy closing its doors this year, we're looking into other charter schools struggling to meet those same regulations. We'll bring you that story tomorrow on KSAT 12 6 o'clock news.